Hey guys, welcome back to in my latest project, which you're looking at here, is the Fujumi, Fujumi, close enough, Fujumi um, F4 Phantom 2, um, the Jolly Rogers edition from VF84. Um, I've been doing a lot of forum stuff again lately. Uh, I've been out of that for a long time, but I recently got kind of back into it. And the guys on that forum were making, uh, doing a Vietnam War group build. Um, so it got me thinking of the Phantoms. That's basically the only thing I have from that era anyway. But um, So I pulled this out of the stash. I've had it for some time now. But I've always liked the Phantoms. They're big, beefy, loud um, aircraft. So I thought I'd build one, first one I've built. Um, and the Jolly Rogers is um, probably my favorite of the Navy uh, squadrons. Um, they have a lot of cool squadrons, but the Jolly Rogers have always been appealing to me. So I took this kit out and put it together. Um, it's a decent kit. The only real problem I have with this kit is that the panel lines on it although are recessed they are so fine that most of the panel lines just got obliterated when it came time to doing the priming and the painting it just filled them all in if I had thought about it or had the courage I probably should have rescribed the panel lines first um, which while tedious it shouldn't have been too difficult because they're already there, they're recessed. It's not like you're taking raised panel lines, have to obliterate it and hope you put your new panel line in the right spot. Um, it's just following <clears throat> the what was already there. Um, I do have another one of these for the sundowner, so maybe when I do that one, I'll try that. So that part was very disappointing. But otherwise, it went together pretty well. It was a pretty decent kit. I'm very pleased with it. Um... <clears throat> You can see here, if I can get in close enough, you can see that the cockpit was detailed pretty well. Uh, you can see the ejector handles there for the for the pilots to bail out on it. I thought that came out pretty good. It's a shame that the canopy is closed on it because you really can't see that anymore. But uh, it was pretty, pretty decently done. I was impressed with the way it came out. Um, you can also see here we did a glare panel for the window. Um, used uh, Tamiya uh, clear blue for that. Um, I thought it was a nice touch. It looks pretty good and it fits with what I've seen of these aircraft online. Um, it did fight me though. I did have some issues like, but they were self, self made issues. Um, one of the issues I had is when I put the wings together, I forgot to mark or to pre-drill the holes for the drop tanks and the armaments um, that caused me a bit of grief because when it was all put together and painted I realized I couldn't put the armaments on luckily somebody from the forum was able to show me they had the exact same kit they were able to show me from there is where the holes belong so I was able to uh, figure that out and drill the holes and then put the armaments back on so that worked out pretty well um, I did some light weathering on it because these planes weren't always pristine um, but still just enough to uh, to give it a little bit of character uh, you can see the engine work was done here all the different colors in the engines some dust and dirt afterwards too I was happy with that um, could be better but this is the first time I was doing that so but otherwise I was pretty pleased um, one of the other mishaps that happened towards the end of the project, and I still don't know how it happened, was that I came down and I went to uh, pick it up and I found the wing tip was broken off, completely snapped off. Um, <clears throat> so that put me into a little bit of a tizzy. I had to, using some evergreen stock card, I had to um, square off the cut or the break um, take some card that I had to match up the thickness um, and glue it into place and then repaint. It didn't come out perfect because the top color 
is actually a custom made color that I did um, I didn't have any left over so I had to redo it so it wasn't perfect so but from three feet you can't really notice it and probably nobody would notice it here if I didn't say anything about it so um, yeah, what are you gonna do things happen we just have to overcome and adapt um, so anyway that's what she looks like and then a lot of times I just put the finish that the build like this I throw it on the shelf and I'm done with it and rightfully so I don't have much room to to put a lot of stuff but for some reason with this one I wanted to go out a little above and beyond and make a base for it so uh, this is what I came up with so what we got here is this base that I built um, I just used stuff that I had around the house and one of the things was this board um, that I got from Hobby Lobby it's probably about 12 inches square um, I decided to make a flight deck and using uh, some online pictures I saw and a 144 scale flight deck uh, piece that I have for actually some Jolly Roger planes um, I decided to use that as a excuse me use that as a guide and I threw together this little deck piece here um, it's not perfect it's not exactly in scale but you know what it's okay when you put the plane on it um, you usually, um, you know, everybody saw it knew exactly what it was, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, so the base itself is uh, about a half inch um, plaque that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then there are two different thicknesses of foam core that I put on top of this, or actually foam, craft foam. Okay, one's two millimeter, one's six millimeter, um, which the reason for doubling up on it was to make these this piece here for the blast gate um, so it had some depth to it um, so you got the half inch wood base then you got two millimeter foam went on top of that um, where I was able to cut out you can see the red panels and then the four millimeter foam went on top of that which I had cut out for the blast door um, again all those different layers add to the depth of the the uh, behind the blast gate and the detail the blast gate itself was made out of foam core that's that stuff you get at the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store it's little pieces of foam it's got paper on both ends of it um, it's a really a nice source of material um, I just cut it up and removed the paper um, used some materials like um, um, Mod Podge to give it some uh, rigidity and then put it in, you know, built that out with the grid work to look like the backside of it and everything like that. Um, the top of the foam itself to create the carrier deck, I just marked everything out like I saw on my 144 scale one. Uh, taking a very sharp blade, after I make my measurements, I cut through the very top of the foam, just scoring the top of it actually with the sharp blade. And once that's all done, you come by with a heat gun and it just opens it up. You apply some heat to it and it just spreads the foam and it makes the, the grid work, which looks pretty cool. Um, the dots that make it look like a checkerboard or a domino piece, um, there I believe these are like, um, I wasn't in the Navy so I can't say for a fact, but I think they're like, um, I don't know if so much tie down straps or um, grounding uh, points. You put the grounding points on a cable from the aircraft to the grounding point so that you would, would discharge static electricity. But on, like I got a 350 um, Enterprise model and the deck is just littered with these, um, these dots everywhere which are you know, recessed into the deck. And the same thing with the 144 scale um, deck that I have. Uh, it was all over it so I decided to represent it. again I know it's a little out of scale but again it's just for fun and it gave me something to do and add some interest to the model itself we then cut into the deck the um, catapult grid um, we made some stains on it a little bit of oil stains some blast stains from the engines and then we have our deck it was a very cheap and fun build 
Um, it wasn't over the top by any means when it came to, to money. Time was very easy. And then you put the aircraft on it and she looks just like that. It looks pretty cool. So now I have this cool little carrier deck that I can display the uh, Navy ships, for, the Navy birds from. Kind of like the guys that build garages and put the cars in display in the garages. Same thing. Just something a little different. So, that is what I've been up to. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, guys, be strong.